What is up, dreamers? Welcome back to another episode of Mobius Final Fantasy. In this one, we're going to be talking about just some just some tips and uh, hopefully give you some guidance on how to best farm the Gilgamesh Gala and those crazy Ultima cards. Is what the is what they're calling them. Uh, so yeah, let's 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 talk about it. So um, I'm going to be reading some really good info from Emro in the Dreamer Society Discord. Shout out to him for uh, putting a little something together to help everyone out. Um, but basically, these cards are really hard to farm, and the chances are really low that you'll get them. So it's just the way it is. I've he I've heard people say it's as low chance as getting a supreme card which I don't think they're that low but I have been climbing for about an hour or two and I've only gotten my hands on one of these cards so they are pretty rare be very happy when you get one and if you can get them all that would be basically the goal and amazing if you can get them all but hopefully in the amount of time we've got we can we can all get them all let's see we've got from 528 8 p.m. PDT to 6 4 so we've got a few days to work on this. Over more, th or actually, we've got about a week to work on this, so. Best of luck to you guys. Hopefully you can get some of these cards, and hopefully even some dupes. That way, you know, you could fuse some of these together. But let me read what Emmer wrote in the Dreamer Society Discord. It says they randomly drop... Or, I'm sorry, they drop randomly with higher chance the higher up you go in the tower. Looks like they are a very low drop chance and totally random, which you get. And yes, you can get dupes. Don't farm them until you get as high as you can in the tower. Then go back to a node right before the coil and farm them there. So he also adds that they're not as good as normal Supremes and lack the Supreme bonuses, but they're all multi-strikes with overkill. So better than normal multi-strikes. Yeah, overkill is a really, really nice buff to have in this game. It will destroy stuff. It's really, really strong. And, you know, for four-star cards, they're they're pretty they're pretty, uh, pretty dang strong. They cannot be made to five-star. They're locked at four-star. So, that's pretty much all the info that he had for us, which, honestly, was really helpful. Especially the part about um, just knowing how to farm them best and where to farm them best is pretty dang helpful. Um, so big shout out to him, and best of luck to you guys farming the event, farming these nodes. If you have any trouble, just remember to take it one node at a time. Stunlock is always your friend. Actually, you can't stun Gilgamesh here at all, so um, slow is your friend, but no, no stun, really. Um, and best of luck to you, it's, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough in here. So let me know how it's going for you. I will catch you guys on another episode of Mobius Final Fantasy. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope this helped you out. Um, if you have anything you want to add, I'll definitely be reading comments down below. So if there's, you know, any new info, I'll definitely be sharing it with you guys. And if we have to update and make another video, we will do that. So... Thank you guys for coming by. Best of luck to you in the grind. I hope you get all those cards. Best of luck to you getting all those cards. And on the Supreme Banners coming if you're if you're getting suckered in and pulling for those, but ooh. I would advise not wasting your whole stash if you're going if you're going in on it, because we are gonna have some probably pretty nice stuff coming next month. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna keep grinding this tower. I'll see you soon. Till next time.